Hi YouTube, uh, this is Siavash from Netherlands. In this tutorial I'm going to discuss about composition of a photo. In the previous tutorial I've talked about how to see your subject, but now I'm talking about how to fit your subject into a frame or how to compose your pictures. We start the lessons of composition by classic rule of photography which is rule of thirds or golden ratio. Golden ratio comes from Fibonacci sequence which uh, points at uh, the natural pro pro positions or proportions exists in everything, exists in nature. But we are not going to talk about mathematics but composition, the rule of thirds. Uh, the first thing is where to put your horizons when you are doing a landscape photography. You following the rule of thirds says uh, you should use one third of photo for either a sky or the ground. I mean, if the ground is important for you and there is more interesting uh, stuff in the ground, you can assign two thirds to the ground and one third to the sky or vice versa, like this photo. You know, making the picture into halves and putting the subjects into dead center is not that interesting and making two third one third because we are following the golden ratio it's even more it makes even more interesting pictures generally uh, in photography we avoid uh, we try to avoid div uh, to, uh, a dividing picture in two halves and put the, the subject into center so in this photo again uh, I use the horizon in uh, the f uh, first one third and I assign two thirds to the sky. As you may have already noticed, uh, these uh, purple lines are shown in your camera that are called power lines. Uh, as more our subjects are close to these lines, is as more picture is close to be an interesting photo because we are following the golden ratio and we are considering the golden uh, proportions and uh, this is more pleasant to the eyes. I just want to uh, remind you these lines are actually suggestions and the rule of third is actually is the suggestion of third, not obligation. You may uh, proceed these lines to some extent or as far as you want which is quite normal in photography we are not talking about mathematics or exact science it's art it's photography in this picture you see the grasses and flowers are a bit more than a third so we proceed uh, the rule of thirds in portrait photography we try to put eyes in one of the power lines Eyes are important because actually eyes are the windows to the soul of people and in, pho in portrait photography there is a major concern to the eyes of the subject. So how we use the rule of third in portrait photography? By considering the eyes of the subject. Sometimes you can pull the eyes a bit up or down. Uh, you know, we, as we discussed, these are suggestions. You can a bit play with these proportions and these lines. But we preferly desire to put eyes uh, w on one of the power lines. Rule of third can also mention that one third of something and two thirds of something else. It's not about lines, it's about how much proportion we want to assign. For example, two thirds of rooms in the frame is filled by a building, and w almost, uh, you know, it's not exactly, but almost two thirds is filled uh, by a building and one third uh, by the sky. Here we have we are talking about volume or proportion rather than uh, the location we discussed previously. So rule of third can also mention the proportion, the percentage, you know. Or in this picture, two third of uh, two third is the subject, which is the photographer, 
and one third is the environment around him. The other issue in composition is balance. We want to have a picture that the viewer looks at entire picture, not one corner of the picture be interesting and there would be no interesting point in the rest of the picture. For example, in this picture, the viewer looks at the left side of picture and the right part is empty. So we can say that uh, the left part is heavier, you know, and picture is not in balance. One idea is to crop the picture so there would be a roughly balance in the whole image. In this picture, uh, though the subject is in the right, but the picture is balanced because there is some information in the left part which relates to the subject. Uh, his competitor are in the left showing how much he's ahead and himself in the right uh, so the picture is is in balance I would say this is also a picture that uh, shows uh, in you know the picture there is a roughly good balance balance can be sometimes complicated it's you know it's based on a st the uh, it's it can be based on a story you are telling a story or the subject or the importance of the subject make a complicated balance uh, within a frame uh, but I, this is a kind of example that uh, this picture is balanced because the subject is walking into frame, not outside the frame. If he was walking outside the frame to the right, I wouldn't say that this picture is balanced because everybody gets out of, uh, looks out of the frame and just the uh, right, p right part of the image. But by walking this uh, subject into a frame, there is a good balance between the right and left because he's he is in the right and he's walking into the left. So you are the you keep your eye. I mean the viewer looks the, the to eye to the right side of the frame and brings the eyes to to the left. So it's balanced. It's a kind of complicated balance, of course. And the story is he is walking to the left from the right part. And yeah, in the top and bottom, you see rocks, the ocean, the sky, and everything is the almost the same importance. And the picture is in a is a also, I would say, it's balanced. <coughs> as far as there is information or interesting uh, stuff, uh, interesting uh, stuff in the picture in the whole picture and there is not heavy part in the picture that picture can be called it's balanced or sometimes we are telling a story which we forget about the rule of third and uh, balance we are when we are going to tell a story we try to put information as much as we can and usually we don't have that time to consider all these uh, photography rules but we try, we try, we try subconsciously to keep the balance and to follow the rule of third if we can. So, uh, following the rules uh, can still help with elegant telling the story. In this picture, you see the story of dancers in a carnival uh, and uh, the dancers are coming from left to the right so I give some space to the right to have a balanced picture also I include the people the buildings you know uh, but in this usually in telling the stories you uh, the telling the story itself is more important than the photography rules And sometimes just fill the frame. Filling the frame, I mean, a frame filled with your subject everywhere is kind of uh, composition. 
and the picture is also balanced but there is no rule of third here while you fill the frame uh, maybe still uh, there is some chance to follow the photography rules like putting the horizon somewhere considering the rule of third but uh, still still uh, these are suggestions sometimes it's very hard sometimes impossible you may also be able to make a frame within your camera frame which makes more interest to your photo uh, in this picture walls make a frame for buildings so you are it's like you are looking at the building through a window it's even more interesting that uh, looking at the buildings directly so this is called frame within the frame and we have uh, more examples here the window the curtains make a frame for the man who sit there or the framework uh, the door framework making a frame for this uh, man and it's like seeing this man through another frame and yes good news uh, break the rules not always but <laughs> sometimes you can break the rules uh, I mean actually I told you there is no rules are just suggestions uh, and sometimes you really cannot uh, fit all your subject uh, within the frame considering those rules so just bring the subject into frame in the way you like in the way you can uh, but uh, you know I have this is my last uh, slide and I want to finish this uh, tutorial by telling you something that uh, you know following the rules is interesting because it, sh it shows you are a knowledgeable photographer you know the rules you are following the rules it adds to you that you are a learned photographer and the following these rules shows your knowledge but sometimes you cannot th these are just suggestions but telling your uh, story bringing your subject in the nice way using your feeling using your emotion uh, using the way you think way you want to present is even more important than the rules so my suggestion is follow the rules as far as you can and if you come up with something even more interesting than them just break the rules okay thank you for watching this video and see you in uh, the other tutorials in future have fun and happy shooting